everyone, welcome to Crusade That's Lesson. Today I'm going to show you a way to add uh, add up fractions. This is basically the simple way. In the last lesson, I'm going to actually, I show you how to add up the uh, fraction with different denominators. So, in this instance, I'm going to do 4 by 6 plus 4 by 6. And we should do, do 4 plus 4, and that equals 8. And, the, and we don't have the, the denominators since they're the same. Okay, we're going to have, uh, is, is, I mean, we don't have to add the denominators, and we'll get uh, 8 by 6. The numerator is the top. As I explained, I'm going to show you what's the numerator so that you can understand. The numerator is at the, the top of the number, the, a fraction. So what would we type that again? Top of the fraction. And the denominator is the bottom of the fraction. The, the denominators that are these. We're going to only add up the numerators that are these. So, if you use the evidence, you can solve these problems very easily. We're going to do a few more problems later on, but first we're going to simplify it. Simplify a fraction means that it will become a, you're going to actually simplify it so that it will not be divided by a more. Which is the main question that asks you to simplify it. But we'll, we'll see how to do that. If we should simplify a fraction, we'll still make the fraction equal to the other fraction. It's just because it's in a different form. That means it will be a little bit bigger. Like bigger, bigger pieces. So if we should do 8 divided by 6, 8 by 6, and we need to actually divide and find the GCF of 8 and 6. Eventually, to do that, I have a lesson for you about five factorization. Eventually, that you can watch. <laughs> you know, that you can watch, it, watch later on. Yeah, but for right now, we can, we can skip that part. But when the GCF of 8 is... So F of 8 is 4. But when that, I mean, that's the GCF of 8. The GCF of 8 is 6. We're going to need to find out right now because it's a little bit difficult. So when should they put 8, we uh, make a 3 of uh, 5, uh, 3 of 8 is 6. So which, I mean, which, uh, it, if it, it says 4 times 2 equals 8. And 3 times 2 equals a 6. And then 4, uh, 2 times 2 equals a 4. Okay, we've created a, a tree now. We're going to circle all the prime numbers. So I'm going to use a circle tool to do that uh, job. Wait a second. Prime numbers three, two, 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 and two. But the only prime that we're going to since the only prime number that is silver is two, so we're going to circle that that in a different color. But if it's not, if they multiply the prime prime numbers that are silver, just make sure multiply these ones in silver. For example, two, two times two times two, and the uh, eight actually. But eventually, but eventually, find out that the two and two are prime, uh, the. Um, I already find the D, but the C is G, the G7 equals to 2. So, which two and two are two are the way numbers that are similar in this group. But, we need to actually, a good way to actually symbolize the D, but basically, a good idea is to put this in exponential form, and, or, or standard form. For the right now, it's standard, is this. Two times two times two times uh, that's all. Two times two times two that equals to eight for eight. Let me speed it out a little bit so that this will be a little bit clearer. In the exponential form eventually the exponential form is equal to 
who are too cute to that is too to or too to that power of greed. So make sure you use the brush I'm gonna write the tiny three top. That's actually exponential. So we'll use the exponents. Do the same thing for six. And make sure and I will write it down for right now. So make sure for six the standard for is uh, the final the final that make the uh, the five factorization of six is six. I have two. And make sure the uh, is that standard uh, there's still exponential because two is the only number right here. Next for that shift for numbers that have multiple numbers, and going together, so two times two times two that equals to eight. But measure the standard is two. So for right now, as you can see here, there's only one two similar. So that means the GCF. So since the GCF is. So the G so the G C F it equals to who two got it or not? But when he, now, but when you find out you learned the G C F, uh, how to find the G C? Uh, so the G C F is two of both the numbers. First of all, let's go back to our problem here. Eventually, in this problem, we did we found out the GCF right now, so we can solve make this into a, a simple form. So we're going to divide uh, the top and the bottom by two, and we will, by doing that, we're going to get four by three, and that's uh, by three, and that's actually a, a improper fraction since everything's actually going on right now. But eventually, we do another problem that would not be improper fraction. So eventually, it was simplified. So to what's the one more problem right now? So two by four, four plus a one by four, and you will get three by four. Four by four says so two plus one goes to three. Okay, but this is some more. Actually, this will be one more simplify. Um, so basically, this is, this is a power. Later on, I will show how to convert this to a big step, but this is a good for right now. But basically, we're going to do 5 by 6, 3 by 6, plus, I mean, not 3 by 6, 2 by 6, 6 plus 2 by 6. I six and that goes to four by six. So once you find out the GCF between uh, six and six is two because eventually for two times three goes two. Why? Because this is two times three goes six and two times three goes four. So we're gonna actually divide by divide by two two. So the greatest common factor right now is which Two by three, it will be our answer, and that's actually as simple as four. And th this is how you file the GCF of the numbers, if I should quickly. And so you can refer this back to uh, the, to this part back if you want to file the GCF. But sure you have to make a, pri uh, a factor change. Well, so thank you for watching this lesson. Bye.